Hello everyone and welcome to Blender Animation Tutorials. In this brief tutorial we will learn how to create arrows, vectors and coordinate systems in Blender such that you can include them in your animation, paper or student homework assignment. But before I start I would like to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this completely free video tutorial as well as more than 350 free video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel and consequently I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's start from scratch. Click on File, New in General to create a new file. Here is an empty Blender workspace. First, I need to make a few adjustments such that you can see the keyboard and mouse button that I will be pressing. This will help you to more easily reproduce this example on your computer. I will run a simple plugin that will track the mouse button and the keys that I will be pressing. Here is the plugin. Now, if I press left, you will see it over here. If I press the middle mouse button or if I press the right mouse button, you will see all these actions over here. Also, if I press a letter, for example, B, you will see it over here. You don't need to run this plugin since also you most likely don't have it. Since some of you might not be familiar with Blender, I need to explain a few important things. First of all, you select objects by using the left mouse click. Then, you can translate or pan slide a view by pressing shift and by holding the middle mouse button. You can rotate the view by holding the middle mouse button and by moving the mouse. Finally, you can zoom in or zoom out the view by pressing control and middle mouse button and by moving the mouse. You can also do that by using the rolling mouse button, of course, if you have a mouse with a rolling middle mouse button. Blender workspace is started with this default cube. We don't need this cube, so I will simply select it and I will press delete to erase it. Next, let's add the cylinder. Click here on add, click on mesh, and over here you will find the cylinder. Here's the cylinder. Next. Let's scale this cylinder. To do that, click over here and you can click on this modifier and you can pull it up to scale this cylinder. Let's do it a little bit more. Of course, you can do it also over here, for example, by pressing 10 or by pressing, for example, 20. Okay. Next, we can change the X and Y scales of this cylinder by using this modifier or this modifier. However, the best way to do that is actually to use these menus over here. For example, we can specify X 0.5 and Y 0.5. Here it is. Maybe we should scale this cylinder a little bit more. So let's, for example, type here 0.3 and over here 0.3. Here it is. Looks very good. Another important thing to learn about Blender is how to change the views. There are two ways to do that. You can click over here on view and you can click on viewpoint and you can for example see the front view, you can see the back view, etc. Another way to change the views, and I like this method a little bit better is to simply press over here or press over here etc. This is the body of our arrow and now let's add the top. To add the top we need to add the cone. So click over here and add mesh and you have this option cone and here's the cone. Now let's move this cone to the top of our arrow. The easiest way to do that is to go in this view, zoom in the view, and over here you can simply press either this option or this option. Let's press move. And you can simply move the top. However, we can observe that we are not moving it along Z axis. To do that, press Z, and now you constrain the axis, and you can move it along the Z axis. So again, Let's do that, select the arrow, press Z, and let's move the axis along the Z axis. Here it is. 
let's see what happened over here is everything fine let's try to move it a little bit up or down okay let's keep it over here perfect okay so we have a body and we have a top however we would like to have a single arrow to do that we need to make a union to create a union click over here on the body then click over here click on add the modifier and over here you need to find the option boolean here it is then you need to select union then you need to select this eyedropper tool select the cone and you can simply press enter then you will click over here and you will click on apply and let's see the effect the best way to see the effect is to select this object and to try to move it here it is however we can observe that we have a duplicate of our cone so let's erase this duplicate okay here it is however now the arrow is displaced to return the arrow to zero position click on the arrow then over here you can click on this button object properties and let's adjust the location over here let's type 0 0 and 0 to return the arrow to its initial position here it is perfect now let us change the color of this arrow to make it more visually attractive to do that click on the arrow then click over here click on new and over here we can change the color click over here to change the color for example let's choose this color however you cannot see anything over here to see the color change click over here and here it is perfect next let's learn how to create the coordinate system to create this coordinate system we need to copy this error twice and we, we need to rotate the copies around the corresponding axis next let's learn how to create the coordinate system first of all we need to copy this error so select the arrow press ctrl c and then press ctrl v and over here you can see the copy let's select the copy by clicking over here then press r to rotate then press y to constrain the rotation around the y-axis and type 90 degrees and here it is here's the rotation for 90 degrees okay perfect let us create the second axis again copy paste then select the copy this one press R now let us choose the axis the axis should be X axis consequently press X and press 90 degrees aha uh -huh. this is not good since we need minus 90 degrees so do backspace and then type minus 90 and here it is perfect and here it is here's our coordinate system however we still didn't didn't create a single coordinate system since we can see over here three arrows to create a single coordinate system we need to create union so to create a union select the first arrow then go over here under the modifier properties then click on add modifier click on boolean click on union click on this eyedropper tool select this arrow press enter then click over here and click on apply okay let's try to move it and to see what will happen okay here it is move however we can still see a copy of this error erase this copy and move these two objects to the initial position you can do that by selecting them click over here and then type here 0 type here 0 and type here 0 okay that's it let's create the second union select this object then again modifier properties add modifier boolean union then 
select the second arrow, press enter, click over here, apply. Perfect. And we can of course see a copy over here, so select the copy and press delete. And here it is. Here's our coordinate system. We can simply move it, we can also rotate it, we can translate it, etc. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.